Hi, I'm Rich Fidlow, host of the How to Deal with Life channel. Now today we've got a topic that affects everyone all the time and yet I have not heard any uh, other YouTube channel discuss it. People don't talk about this, not too much anyway. And here's what it is. It's things that you think about that you don't say. So right here we're going to look at the both the good and the bad aspects of thoughts that are left unsaid. Now initially you might think to yourself, well this is really a good thing, and it is. I mean you cannot just blurt out anything that comes to mind. You're going to be, oftentimes you're going to think about something that's grossly inappropriate, but you know you can't say these things. However, you can pick out bits and pieces of truth that oftentimes people are going to really appreciate just have to do it tactfully. Now we all know older people that you know they their brain to mouth filter is just not working. I mean they'll blurt out anything, they'll speak all kinds of stuff, a lot of it's really inappropriate, but there's mixed in with this a lot of truth and valuable insights that people that just bite their tongue and don't talk, they don't have them. So let's take a look at a couple of these here now. The brain to mouth filter check how it has to be adjusted based on who you're talking to. Now, you have to talk to different people different ways. People automatically know this, but how do you articulate this right when your conversation is happening and do it effectively? Uh, the things that you stop yourself from saying hold truth, effective communication, even hints of genius in them. Now that you're watching this video, you're going to be aware of these things and think to yourself, you know what? That's true. It's extreme. It's very true. And uh, another thing here, let's take a look at this. Things that you left unsaid, what, what's actually happening is, maybe you're trying to be too polite, you're failing to get your point across, okay? Not only that, you're going to have a meeting with someone, a conversation with someone, the, the key points of what you're trying to say, you missed them. What's going to happen here? You're not going to be taken seriously and you may not be respected. These are things that, you know, it's extraordinarily important here. All right, so let's take a look at the counterintuitive aspect of, of this. So if you have a thought, you look at somebody, you think to yourself, right away it's inappropriate, come out to your mind. You can't say it. Okay, adjust it just a little bit, just a little. Get your point across. Now, here's, here's the results. You might think to yourself, you know, I'm going to blow this conversation. I'm going to, um, you know, offend this person grotesquely. I'm going to tell them something they, they don't want to hear. But if you do it right, people will actually appreciate you for this. People will appreciate being told the truth even if the truth hurts and it's not what they want to hear. How many times in your life have you left a conversation and you thought to yourself, you know, I should have said this, I, I should have said that, and you didn't? You failed to get your point across, but all of a sudden, all these things are coming to your mind. Wow, if I had said this, you know, the conversation would have gone differently. You know, why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? And if there's so many occasions where this has happened to me anyway, that yeah, I can't even count them all. Okay? So don't be too concerned about offending people. If you do it right, you say it right, you know your audience, you have to know your audience who you're talking to, they may just appreciate you for it. And I found in my, in my personal experience, they do, most times, they do. Now, emailing and texting, probably the greatest communication tools ever invented. It's a game changer because you're sitting down, you're writing an email to someone, you can write it, you can edit it, you can rewrite it, you can think about it before you hit send. There's no time clock on it 
saying, oh, you have to send it within 20 seconds or 30 seconds. No, you can really communicate well with uh, proper texting uh, and emailing. Now, the thing about it is, you know, I, I just said, you know, you don't have a time limit on it. You could take as much time as you want, and oftentimes it does require a lot of time. It's almost, it's very similar, or maybe it's the same thing as writer's block. How to state something so that it flows, really, really conveys your message, your message properly. It takes thought. You have to think about it. It requires time. You don't have this, this luxury when you're talking to someone face to face. Now, I have one more video coming up pretty soon. This one you should tune in for and perhaps you should subscribe so that you know about it. Here's what it's going to be. It's friends and family and how they do not mix with favors and money. You don't want to miss that one. You have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.